The rice is smelling good. A fair go happy on the Weber barbecue is even incredible. And it's smoking. So oh, no. no. Hello family, thank you again for tuning in for another exciting episode with Fafa. Okay, as promised, here's my salmon recipe. And the blends I'll be using, it will be the herby. And yes, I've got my echo. If you watched my previous video, I did cover this red rice recipe, which is absolutely delicious. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can familiarize yourself with the flavors. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. Now, today I will be cedar smoking, yes, my salmon, using the red cedar plank from Weber. Yes, yet again, I'll leave a link in the description box so you can grab one or two. Why not? It is best to soak your cedar wood in water. So submerge it in water for at least about 30 minutes. This will prevent the wood from burning quickly when you do barbecue or grill with it. Here I've got my Weber gas barbecue. Yes, the smart gas barbecue, which of course I'm doubling up into a smoker, may I say. So here I've lighted it and I'm just going to cover it. Yes, and I'm also going to reduce that temperature to a medium heat level whilst I then tackle my salmon. And here I have my 500 grams of salmon fillet and I'm going to divide that in two. But of course, I need to infuse it with some flavors. So to a saucepan, I've added some butter and olive oil with a cho, which is the grains of saline. I will call it the West African black peppercorn because it has that black peppercorn flavor, but it's muskier. Yes, so aromatic and absolutely delicious. Next thing is I'm adding my herby salt mix. Now that will be available soon on buy in Dudu. Dot com. Now I'm just going to mix everything together as you can tell and I'm going to allow this to infuse beautifully. Now if you watch my previous video when I covered the red rice recipe, yes because I barbecued the red rice as well. It was an outdoor cooking that day and it was raining so I had the parasol on and I was like yes nothing's going to stop me from um, making this feast may I say. So here I've got my Red rice cooking in the corner over there and my soaked plank is representing now. So to that, I'm just going to lay my salmon fillets over it. Yes, absolutely. And once I do that, I'm now going to be brushing it with my infusion of flavors. So you remember the grains of saline that was infused with the butter and olive oil? Yes, definitely. That's going to be splashing all over it. Like, hello, how you doing? Yes, I know flavors. I like you too. <laughs> In Dudu by Fafenye, yeah. Koba Dudu a enye kuyilu. Fafa, come on, bring Dudu and blow Fafa. I love the flavors that only love me. If you have purchased the complete set of blends from Buy In Dudu, then you will definitely have the Herby blend in the mix. If not, you can find it in the box of four, the palette box. Yes, and that's incredible. So I've added my Herby blend to the flavored butter and now i'm just you know brushing the salmon so here you can just tell on the edges that you can tell that the wood is drying up and once it dries out that's when the smokiness will start to come through here i've got some ripened plantain and i was like yeah why not so i just divided it in half this is the best way i like to barbecue my plantain as well because of course the skin protects the plantain and it just keeps it moist and oh so beautiful and you know you know, you could just like be brushing it with some other flavors as well. Why not? So yes, I'm just going to allow this to, you know, do its own shenanigans for about 10 minutes. And this is what you end up with. You can just see that smokiness coming through and it just needs that last splash of flavors. And that is it. You've got the red rice. You've got your grilled plantain there. You've got your cedar smoked salmon. Easy as one, two, three. Yes, absolutely.
just in case you missed my previous video on where I shared this beautiful barbecued red rice recipe, I'd leave a link in the description box so you can familiarize yourself whilst I play with nature. If you have been an avid follower of my channel or my other social media pages, yes, you will know that I love nature. Any opportunity for me to go for walks, I'm up for it because of course it is through my thoughts and it's through going for walks that I end up with creative ideas. Yes, you have to create that environment to allow you to think outside of the box. And you know, this rice recipe was the most aromatic rice recipe because I also used um, the homali rice, which is like this perfumed Thai rice. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And that I don't know how I felt to notice it, but the olive tree in the garden, I just noticed that, yes, we're getting some olives. Yeah, it's surprising, but I appreciate that. It's just little things like this that puts a smile on my face. So if you do have an opportunity to go for walks every day, please do so and ex explore your environment and your surrounding. You know, look at it differently. Look at it with a different set of eyes. You will find inspiration in everything anybody does, everything that is around you. And before I go, let me just share a quick salad that would accompany this dish beautifully using my Edza blend. So the Edza is made out of smoked lime as well as sumac and other spices. So it has the sour tangy flavor that mimics the taste of salt, but without the salt. So a little goes a long way. And here I've also added a little bit of my Holy Grill, which is my all-purpose spice blend. It's so aromatic. It also has things like citron peppers in there so absolutely scented and here i've just mixed everything together until it's well combined and of course i'll be adding a little bit of salt of course you also saw me add a little bit of the olive oil so it's almost like a dressing so this is like tangy sour and the tomato is also nice and acidic and just beautiful the onions just add their sweetness as well to the salad now of course my parsley which has got more vitamin c than an orange yes had to represent and i mix this and this would work well with your barbecued red rice mm, and the sweet plantain with the cedar smoked salmon <laughs> full labors now you know you can grab the palette box on our website which is a box of four and that includes the dessert the herby blend and two other extras you know you can create as many dishes as you wish now, if you're thinking of a great gift to you know present to give to someone you can try an entire collection every collection that you do get comes gift wrapped yes because i like to treat you like the king and the queen that you are yes so do try us um it's by indudu.com and yes don't forget to share like the video leave a comment yes and you'd find traditional african recipes on my blog indudubaifafat.blogspot.com so do check it out i'm on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat as indudubaifafat so pass by and say hi norel thank you very much for my theme song and until my next recipe kings and queens please take care of yourself be nice be beautiful be gorgeous be yourself celebrate you for you you're incredible and that's why I'd always say I love you for you all. So thank you very much for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on,